What's up, everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. Today's video, we're going to go over a hot topic, and that is the heart line of tools offered at Walmart. You've been asking for it. You've been wanting more information. You're wanting our take on these tools. We have some stuff to go over. We have some comparisons. I'm going to tell you this. The large majority of people that are watching this video, there's something to the heart line of tools that you probably don't know. You're unaware. And today, we're going to let you know this important fact about this line of tools. And it's all coming right up after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. Here's the deal. There's going to be, in this video, some impactful information, but only certain members of the Very Cool Gang are going to know what to look for. Help out the rest of the community when you find it in the video. Leave it in the comments section. Give out the hint, give out the clue. Be one of the very coolest gang members. Here's one important thing about the Heart line of tools. You can pick them up while you're shopping at Walmart, maybe you're picking up like Tostino's pizza rolls or you're getting like, I don't know, bedding and linens and you want to put up some blinds, whatever. You can pick up this line of tools at the Walmart, which is a benefit for some of you that want to tackle these DIY projects, but maybe you don't have a home improvement center near you to pick up a different brand of tools. The line is not as expansive especially for those hardcore DIYers to accomplish all of those homeowner tasks. They just don't have the availability of tools. The other thing is, I find the combinations, the kits at this point, they're very odd. The entry level tools, for instance, right now, we have some brush tools here. Previously, when we picked up this kit, it came with two amp and a half batteries. Now, Walmart is selling these tools with a single amp and a half battery. So if you wanted to drill holes and then drive screws, you couldn't pick up one tool, drill your hole, then drive your fastener with, with the kit as it stands now. You'd have to buy an additional battery. This kit with its single battery and this charger will cost you $94. If you wanted to step up to a brushless kit, which theoretically is more powerful, more compact, would be longer lasting, it comes with two two amp hour batteries, but Walmart's stepping you up to $178 for this kit. Now this kit comes with this charger. The one thing that seems more substantial about this charger over this charger is right here at the end, you have a larger power brick to provide more power so you charge your battery quicker. Decisions, decisions. And here's the thing. While you're there picking up your drill driver, you could pick up a driver bit kit. I will tell you this about Hart's driver bit kits. It was pretty impressive. The, the number two bits fit really well in number two screws. I know it's some of you that are tuning into the channel for the first time might think to yourself, why is that important? Here's the reason. I feel that if a manufacturer of tools and bits can't get the number two driver bit right, where it slips, causes cam out, uh, rounds over the screw heads and such, if they can't get that number two driver bit right, probably the rest of the kit's really going to be lackluster. If you wanted to see how well that bit performed, you can go on over to this video here. As a comparison, and some of you shoppers and DIYers, hardcore DIYers and homeowners, if you wanted to really jump into the DIY game, I'm thinking that you might have to leave Walmart. You might not be able to stay there if you want a really good value. Let's just say you're not willing to spend 178 bucks for these heart brushless tools, but you wanted a drill driver combo that has two batteries. What do you got to do? Well, you got to ride down the road and go to the orange big box that sells Ryobi. These are not necessarily those tools, but these are just examples of Ryobi's tools. 
In case you are not too familiar with tools, you wanna know what to look for, you're gonna look for that lime green color, that radioactive green color. At the Home Depot, they have like an everyday new lower price for a drill driver and an impact driver with two amp and a half batteries, a charger and a bag, you're looking at $99. So you're literally five bucks more than this kit that has one battery, you're getting those Ryobi tools, you're paying five additional bucks for that battery. Do I think that that's worth it down the road? Here's the deal. Maybe you're food shopping, you th you're thinking that you have something to do around the house, you wanna pick up a little kit. Maybe getting the extra battery isn't as important as the convenience of being able to get all your shopping done at once. Here's the thing, this kit might be perfect for you, but for those of you that are wanting to jump into the DIY game, the, the homeowner, you have a lot to do and little time to do it, you don't wanna to have to be switching back and forth, you probably should drive the five miles or two miles or one mile around the block or even in the same, same shopping center for five extra bucks, you're gonna get that battery. You might be unaware that there are better deals. When people think of Walmart, they think of inexpensive. They think of a lot of bang for your buck. And when we've done the numbers and we've ran the tests over time, we found that you're actually paying more for some of these hard tools than if you were to even buy professional grade tools. Now, like I said, does that mean that they're not good, that they wouldn't be long lasting? I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is you might be able to get more if you go down the road and, and leave the Wally world. I mean, I, you know, I know it, it might be a little bit of inconvenience. I will give you this though. If you're going to jump on that heart line of tools because it's convenient for you, will the heart line of tools satisfy all of your DIY needs? The reality is maybe not right this second, but they will continue to grow. I could almost guarantee that they will fill out their line to include tools to accomplish most any task a homeowner DIYer would have to complete. Now, there is a good reason I can tell you that's going to happen. It's kind of information you might not be aware of, a little inside information maybe, or maybe it's one of those things that's staring you right in the face. It's like information that everybody knows except for you. I, this is the thing. I can tell you that these probably will be long lasting. I think that they're somewhat powerful to complete the tasks that you're probably gonna need to complete and that's what makes them long lasting because they're not squeezing every ounce of juice, every ounce of power out of the heart line of tools which means that they should run a pretty long time. Here's the scoop on how I know this line of tools is going to continue to expand and how I know that this line of tools will probably last you the lifetime of your home possibly. That's because the manufacturer of these tools is actually the manufacturer of this tool brand. Here's the big difference. You probably can find better deals on these tools than you can these tools because these tools are being propositioned to you as maybe an impulse purchase. Don't go through impulse. Be an informed consumer and you're gonna save more money. You're gonna get more bang for your bucks. That means that you're gonna be able to put more food on your table. You're gonna be able to pay that, help pay that cable bill or the phone bill or whatever. Save the, the couple bucks, go up the street maybe, and you explore, if you're serious about DIY, explore a less expensive, more powerful a line of tools that offers a greater variety of tools to accomplish more tasks. This is the thing, if you jump on this platform and then you decide that you wanna accomplish these other tasks, you might find yourself having to jump platforms anyway to another battery operated platform or have to go with a corded power tool to fill in the gaps that are still present here in the heart line of tools. Now, do I think that the heart line of tools 
can become a great line of tools over time? I, I do. I just don't think that they're there yet. Are they, are they worthy of your money? Yeah, I think that for some people, maybe these will suffice. If you're more concerned about convenience, maybe they do deserve your money. But how can I tell you with almost 100% certainty that this line will continue to grow, they're going to become more powerful, it's going to become more expansive. We talked about them being the manufacturer of these tools here. Here's the real deal that you might not have known. Hard tools is not only manufactured by the same company that makes Ryobi, they're manufactured by the same company that makes Milwaukee tools. These tools are some of the most compact, powerful, okay, forward-thinking tools on the planet. They use some of the best battery technology in, in the line of power tools. This is the thing. A lot of that R&D happens over at Milwaukee Tool, and it trickles downstream or upstream, downstream, it trickles downstream over time. As these start to move into generation four and five, I wouldn't be shocked to see the heart tools become these tools. This technology will eventually go into the heart line of tools. That means that eventually you're gonna be able to buy contractor grade tools for the price of homeowner grade tools. And that sounds pretty awesome to me. Now, here's a real hidden secret for you. If you stuck around this far, you're gonna get a special treat. I'm gonna let you know that at one point we were able to buy Milwaukee combo kits. They were Gen 2 one key combo kits. So they were a hammer drill and an impact driver. We were able to buy them with a five amp hour battery and their awesome charger. We were able to buy them for $125 in a combo kit in a hard case, this is the reality. It happened for a limited time. The people that scored them had the bell notification enabled. So some people ask me, you know, what's the best homeowner line of tools? This is the reality. It would be the platform that suits you best. But my real answer to everyone is, if you are on a homeowner budget and you can buy contractor grade tools, why wouldn't you? It just makes sense. So tap the bell. Also, let us know down in the comment section below, do you have any experience with these brands? Which one do you like best? What do you think of the Heart line of tools? They're fairly new. Would you jump to Heart over Ryobi? We wanna know. Also, if you can be so kind to enable the like button, it helps out the channel immensely. It's free for you to do, and it's not like smashing a mirror someplace else. Here on YouTube, if you smash the like button, you get seven years of good luck. With all that, I wanna say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy, and you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.